What's up YouTube, I'm Mike. I wanted to shoot a really, really quick PSA video. Uh, for those of you who may have wondered why you didn't see any content from me yesterday, it was not because it was Father's Day. I actually made an entire almost 40 minute video uh, and tried to upload it and uh, YouTube uh, blocked it. Or they, they, they said that it, it was not eligible for monetization, which is kind of the whole point of this at this point. Um, certainly when I don't have a job, and so I've, this, is, this has been a problem that's been going ongoing for the last week. I thought somebody was reporting my channel, but it turns out that that's not the case. I actually talked to Tech Sport this morning, and they said that there are no reports on my channel, that my channel is in good standing, that the algorithm was just flagging certain things. I have requested a review of multiple videos, and upon review, those videos have been approved for monetization. My most recent video um, going into my homeless experience was not. The video uh, in, in question uh, is just a description of what it was like for me. It, it's, it's part six of my homeless video. And I uh, called a person that is from a, a group of people that uh, are really big fans of flags. They, they, they just really love colorful flags. Uh, I used one word in the entire video. I didn't even know that this was considered a derogatory term, but apparently it is. And that one term got my entire video demonetized, um, which is really making me lose uh, faith in YouTube because they make money off of me. You guys super tip me, and then they get they take thirty percent of that. They, they run ads all over my fucking YouTube videos and disproportionately earn relative to me, which is why like Cash App, you know, is so much better. Um, dollar sign Trinity number one, or Trinity one, um, if you care. Uh, because then the people who are, who are censoring me don't have the ability to take, take from, from me, from, from my product. And so I've been trying, I've been sitting here thinking about what I'm going to do uh, to navigate this problem. I've got another video sitting here right now that's just, just about uh, Mint that's, again, uh, awaiting approval. And so what I realized is that when you're talking about certain groups of people in our society, um, it, it's basically just a minefield because the rules change every single day. Something that something that's that's not offensive one day is offensive the next day, and it didn't even give me the option to like bleep out the word. I guess I was gonna have to recut the entire like 35 minute video in order to to get it monetized. And so they, they give you no no tool to kind of solve the problem, and and they punish you um, for your creative process, and they even more so they, they punish you for your freedom of speech. I, I, this is of all the things I've said on this channel, I would have thought that this was the least offensive thing I've ever said, and it demonetized my video. So what I'm going to do from now on, at least for the time being, until I decide if I want to take my content elsewhere, somewhere where, where I can actually be appreciated, is that I'm no longer going to acknowledge the existence of this group of people or any other group of people who, 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 when you talk about them, they throw a hissy fit and try to get you into some type of trouble, try to cancel you. These people very clearly are desperate for attention. They seem to think that their lifestyle is worthy of just so much uplifting and attention and, and congratulations and, and uh, everybody needs to just endorse and it, it is nauseating to the point that I can no longer take it. And so what I've realized is that these people are kind of like trolls. And so what you do when you have a troll is you don't feed it. And so from now on, uh, I'm not going to be using any terms to describe certain groups of people at all because I'm simply going to refer to them as someone who does not exist to me. So, if, for example, I was saying that I went to a party and there was these two guys and girls that I knew and then there's these three people who don't exist. Those people would be members of that group of people. They don't exist to me anymore. I'm not, I'm not going to continue to play the game of what's acceptable today is not acceptable tomorrow. I am basically just going to choose to put my head in the sand and pretend like these people just don't exist. Because as long as I do that, then they really legitimately have no bearing on my life. Like, 
I, I don't have any any real interactions with them. I, I it, it, it's just it's just a source of misery, and it's not worth it's not worth me wasting videos um, trying to to convey really transformative experiences in my life and have them getting dinged because of one single word in an entire video. It's just not worth it. So anytime you hear me refer to people who don't exist, or I might even say crybaby, there was a crybaby in the room, then you'll know what I'm talking about. And you'll understand why I have to use that term because the alternative, because being real and honest and genuine is not something that our world is capable of coping with right now. Right now, our world is in a very sad state and it just cannot cope with truth. We, we live in a society where lies and deceit carry the day and this is what unfortunately YouTube has decided to do is be the purveyor of misinformation uh, under the guise of being the purveyor of truth. And, and that that's just, it's the most completely asinine thing known to man. And I just don't think that I can be a part of it anymore. So, uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm not talking about ghost people, but effectively that's what they've become to me. Uh, anytime I reference a, a ghost, a crybaby, or someone who doesn't exist, then you will know who I'm talking about. So, thank you for watching this short PSA. I apologize for the delay in content. It's not on my end. I'm trying to get you some new cycle updates out right now. I'm just waiting on the YouTube gods to determine whether or not the language that I have used is acceptable for their high and mighty platform uh, while I look for an alternative. So as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.